Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make a common mistake, you can end up needing a new engine that can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Challenger or Dodge Charger guys with a 3.6 V6 VVT engine. If you want to see guys how to do an oil change step by step, we'll talk about oil capacity, oil change, we'll talk about common mistakes people make that can destroy your engine. Stay with us, we'll explain all about that in this video today. Everything will be shared absolutely free for your convenience. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. <clears throat> this is a Dot Challenger, but Dot Charger is practically built on the same platform, so it should apply to both. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Now guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. We take cars apart, engines, transmission, show you how to fix engine lights, transmission lights, coats, fuses, relays, a little bit of everything guys. All we need, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making them. And if you keep, if you guys need to find where you can buy uh, affordable oil, filter, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. What we guys need to do, as I said, it should work on both Charger and Challenger. First thing, we're going to lift the driver's side up. Now, when you use a jack, always use a jack stand too. Why? Because, guys, okay, the jack, if it fails, once seal fails on that jack, what's going to happen? Practically, the car will fall and smash you guys. So, now, it's important to use always a jack stand and support it, okay, underneath as well. We will need to work underneath to drain the engine oil, so that's why we need to get all that stuff, okay, there. So, okay, almost coming up, perfect. Now, we're going to set the jack stand there as well. We can continue, guys, with the next step. What do we need to do? Practically, guys, we need to go underneath, okay. Let us show you here what do we have. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove that cover there. That cover is the under engine splash shield, also known as engine under cover. With a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove some bolts. Okay, once we remove it, we'll clearly show you where everything is located, guys. Okay, this one's coming out. A little bit more. It says... Uh, remove to service engine on the cover. Okay. We might need to lift it up to be able to get it out. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Let us uh, show you guys now, okay, what we have underneath here. Now, here, okay, we'll need to drain the engine oil. And you wonder, guys, okay, where? So, let me find a good... Okay, good spot, so I can place the camera. You can see this is the oil pan on the front. So we need to get a bucket, okay? And uh, actually we're going to need to jack the vehicle up on the other side, so everything, okay, can leak out of it. So guys, we jacked up the vehicle on the passenger side. Okay, the driver's side is down, that way the engine will be tilted uh, to the driver's side, so we can drain most of the oil out. Now, that oil could be extremely hot if the engine was running before the oil change. It can severely burn you guys. Okay, so wear gloves, eye protection. There are two theories about oils. Okay, we need to get a bigger ratchet, but some people change it when the engine, engine is hot. It's going to come out faster. Some say it's going to be better. Some people do it when it's colder, it's slower. You need to leave it open for a longer time. But do whatever feels comfortable for you guys. So you, usually we do it a little bit warm, but not hot, because we don't want to burn ourselves, okay? So, that was over tight and it shouldn't be that way, guys. It shouldn't be so tight. So, always use gloves. Why we don't? I don't know. We forgot them this time, I guess. Use gloves and eye protection. Okay, because watch, it's going to get on you guys. No matter what you do. So, oil is coming out. We'll just let it drain now, 
and uh, we'll be ready to continue with the next step in a little bit. We'll have multiple views how to replace uh, multiple things, how to service that engine, how to rebuild that engine. We'll make videos about transmission, exhaust, drive shaft, all that stuff guys, interior, fuses. We have uh, all the fuses and relays videos as well if you need help with that because if you're in the middle of nowhere you need to find where a fuel pump fuse is located or we have to do watch our video for a minute or two replace it and you're back on the road guys so uh okay we're replacing uh, the the other container now uh, the capacity is 5.9 quarts which is 5.7 about 5.7 liters uh, the thing about it is <laughs> probably did use a little bit of oil between our changes this one is 11,000 miles it's in Teddy oil but still a little bit overdue so we're going to go ahead okay leave it open like that do not close it and what do we need to do now we'll come to the top I want to show you here we're going to go ahead okay and uh, remove the oil filter which is located right here leave the bottom open because more oil will leak out in the oil pan and when it does it's going to come out so that's a good thing so we need to find here I believe it's a, a 20 a 24 wrench let me see if we if we have one okay uh, right there this one is 24 millimeter yes perfect now we'll talk about torque specs in a little bit we're going to go ahead get that one loose perfect that's the time to inspect your plastic cap as well now guys that's a super weak spot the oil cooler here underneath uh, they start leaking the gasket sometimes so inspect to make sure you don't have coolant or oil in the v between the engine uh, because you may have a big puddle of oil there so that's a sign that the gasket is going out guys so slowly we're going to remove it let it drain without dripping and put it in a plastic bag everything looks good here we have just a little bit of oil you can see right there on the side where it's shiny black that means that this gasket is on its way soon guys so now the new kit okay if you need to buy a new filter at a good price quick shipping oil as well deliver to your door we're going to put the link in the description of the video below you grab guys the filter now pull it out okay uh, the new filter comes with a seal here you can see but we need to replace the seal on the cap and remember in which canal it goes right it's the top one because sometimes people will make a mistake installing in the wrong one or they will double seal them sometimes or not replace that one this one is not flexible at all it's like plastic from all that heat engine heat so if you don't replace it you uh, are running the chance to start leaking oil around the cap so perfect it is right there great now we're going to go ahead and install that one and this is amazing great next we're going to go ahead and get it tight the torque specs it's right here 25 newton meters guys okay uh, right here on the cap you can see it so we're going to set the range okay at 25 newton meters okay let me do that now okay never store your wrenches uh, torque wrenches uh, all the way screwed in because that will mess up guys okay and the torque on it it will not be accurate the spring will uh, will practically be uh, softened guys so now when you hear a click you stop immediately and we need to inspect things so listen now right there that's a click let's inspect now you want to make sure that this cap right here is sitting really good and is touching the housing underneath it now Common mistakes people make, they forget to tighten the oil filter. The second mistake they make is they forget, they forget to install the oil drain plug or they forget to get it tight. They put it by hand, they go to get a tool or something, they for forget about it and end up be being loose. You start driving from the vibrations it comes off, oil leaks out and you destroy your engine guys at that point. So 
Let's go ahead, get that one time. We'll try to put the torque specs in the uh, description of the video below for any of you looking for that. Okay, let's go ahead, get it now. Perfect, that's good. Okay, now we're ready guys, okay, to install our cover underneath. That will be uh, the next thing, okay, that we will need to do. You need to just grab it. Remember, and we have four screws, four bolts that we need to uh, go ahead and install, four of them. That's what we will be doing now. And later guys, okay, once we put it on, we can continue with the next step and explain what else we need to do. So, uh, we're going to go ahead, grab it on this side. We need to go here. Okay, perfect, like that. I'll hold it on this side so it doesn't drop. And we're going to see exactly, okay, where it's supposed to go. Perfect, I think it's just like this one. Now, if those pieces are really scratched up, beat up, guys, they have replacement ones that are not too expensive. We purchased them in the past for some vehicles because that vehicle is sitting pretty low there, so it's normal to actually drag it when you climb uh, through, when you go in driveways and things like that. That's, that one has 50,000 miles and has that, you can see, Okay, damage, so that's completely normal. We're going to go ahead, tighten that one now. Okay, it came off. So, we need to go ahead and see if we can catch them. Okay, let me see. Okay, I cannot see where exactly that thing is. We need to go to the font, to the font, to the font. Okay, on my side. On my side, more to the front. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, I got that one, I didn't tighten it. So we can still move it and catch the other ones too. Now, if you lift it a little bit more, you might have a little bit more room. Perfect. Now we're working on the back ones. Okay, one came off right there. So those are the ones that we need to install. Almost there, guys. Now will be the time to inspect your bushings, check for leaks, oil leaks. The transmission started leaking around the gasket a little bit right there. As you can see, we have a little bit of a leak there, a little bit of a problem. Uh, now, check alignment of tires, condition of the tires as well. This one has a little bit more wear on the inside of that tire from what I can see, guys. Yeah, definitely a little bit more wear. And now we're done here. We're going to come to the top. And here, guys, okay, what we need to do now, we need to uh, remove the jack stand. We're going to let the car down. Okay, perfect. Everything needs to be leveled. We're going to go ahead and open the thing. You need to use oil that is specific for your vehicle, guys. Okay, now you can use 5W20, in some cases 530, depends on the, uh, it depends on the climate as well. You can check your manual for that. Uh, uh, depending on the climate, you can use 5W30. It needs to meet certain specifications for our case, the Chrysler ones right here, because uh, practically Dodge is made by Chrysler, by Fiat. So that's perfect. We're going to go ahead and start adding oil. We need to add 5.7 quarts, guys, of oil. 5.7, so we'll go ahead, add it now. Okay, and after we add five of them, we'll come back to the sixth one, guys, and explain what we need to do. So guys, we're going to go ahead and add the last one on this one. Uh, those are the leader, leader ones, okay? Uh, actually, that's okay. One US cord. They're not the leader ones. So we need to do 5.9, right? So if it's 5.9, we need to have, okay, just a little bit left. So even if you put six cords, it's perfectly fine. It should be okay if you drain the oil really good, you drain the filter. So we're going to go ahead and add the whole thing. 
and we're going to test everything make sure it's good now when you first put the deep stick you may notice that it's too full that's okay but the oil filter housing is still empty it's going to fill it up another mistake people often make they forget to install the oil cap and you're gonna lose vacuum you're gonna spray oil gradually you can run out of oil if you're not careful and you can destroy the engine too guys but even if you just leave it on you can lose it it's expensive if you leave it off you can lose it it's expensive you will get a code for vacuum leak most likely misfires multiple things guys so we're going to pull, go ahead pull the dipstick wipe the whole thing we're going to measure it now perfect push it in pull it out okay now it's a little bit over full very little guys that's perfectly fine on this side the same thing uh, but uh, do not overfill it because you can cause damage to the engine the catalytic converters guys but now what do we need to do the next step if your guys okay inside the garage that will be the time to open your door okay we need to open the door because we will need to start the vehicle make sure the vehicle is leveled okay and we're going to go ahead start it let it run for about 30 seconds make sure oil light does not come on the dash if you have oil light low oil pressure light you will need to turn the car off if it stays that light stays on for more than guys uh probably more than five seconds turn the car off there is a problem either with oil filter not enough oil pressure something happened so we're gonna let it sit for about uh five to ten minutes then we can do another reading so we're going to go ahead pull the deep stick now guys and wipe it again so after we wipe it we're going to insert it again make sure it goes good pull it out and let's see now okay so guys we are practically at the minimum okay at the minimum let's reinsert again you might need to give it a little bit of time for the oil to go back to the oil pan because it's in the cylinder heads now okay let's pull it now and see what we got here i feel comfortable when it's in between the minimum and the maximum now we are at about right here which is okay which is um, good guys but you can add a little bit more maybe a quarter uh, bottle and see okay if it's going to be uh, in between guys uh, uh, but uh, yep i usually feel safe when it's right in the middle you can see like this one that's amazing so guys make sure you tighten the oil drain plug oil filter you put the oil cap make sure you add enough oil the correct type of oil and that will be the time to uh, reset your oil wipe as well on your uh, dodge if you want to see how to do that we'll have videos on the channel hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time